There's one. I don't see Mother Superior, so I believe I should start here. Actually, I'm going to stray from the mission for a moment because the speaker's alone. Let me uh, see what I may discover. Would it offend you if I approached? You may, in fact. It's a pleasure to meet you. I am Theron. Speaker? Is that a title or name? And it was you who was brought into possession of this blueprint upon Bumaro's disappearance? Okay. I see. What are your opinions of the odds of the various sects of the church and what they are attempting to guide the direction of the church as a whole? I hope to be. The truth. I see. What sort of test would one have in mind? I am. You could see my dog. The one with the blonde curly hair and the lab coat on. Indeed, indeed. She has an errand, if we can call it that. And if you are willing and able to consider it, very much heard. Now, one question before I depart. I find you have some animosity with one of the groups of interest at this gathering. How were they able to get in in the first place? I was I see. Well, I will adjourn and allow these fine people to speak to you. Interesting. Interesting indeed. All right, chat. The ally there is still engaged. Uh, the laboratory is sending people around right now. Where do we head, chat? Containment hazard assessment team. I am asking you for aid right now. Do we go for the researcher? Or do we... Oh, they're passing by. I guess something's happening. Oh me, oh my. Oh, there is a vote happening here. On virtues, the broken church. The most virtuous smith is the one who commits fully to the rebuilding of the broken god. They exemplify purpose, power, and purity machines. Get your QR codes. The Cogwork Orthodoxy, the virtue set down by McCain to be standardized as follows. Community, tradition, collaboration, peace, and labor. The Maxwellus. Juan calls us to harness our individual ambitions, connections, and skills in order to advance, improve, and expand the church. I cannot vote as I've got you guys, so we will just uh, let the fates fall as they may and see how the crowd feels tonight. Right, so we've had some interviews there, some information drops. I think we got to vote on something. I got to figure out if I can do this without dropping the stream. Um, I got to vote. I vote for our Maxwellis folks. 
Oh, just in time, too. They took the voting thing away. The first vote has closed. The first issue to be imbued on the blueprint is the one put forth by the cog work orthodoxy. The virtue is set down by Menken to be standardized as followed. Community, tradition, collaboration, peace, and labor. <laughs> Seems like a good time to talk to some other groups and see what they think about things. Do you mind if I ask what you're working on there? This is the Blueprint. Um, it is our most holiest documents prepared by our former leader Robert Bumaro himself. Yeah. Since the Cogwork Orthodoxy has won the first bit of the evening, I, Greg, the Cogwork leader, have earned the right to bestow the law into the Oh wow, all right, so we just watched law happen and it's being added right there in front of us on virtues. Have you voted? I did vote, oh, uh, but... Glad to see you're exercising your civic duty. Yeah, I was gonna say, I gotta learn more about you guys. Sounds like you've got a good strong union going on. We offer a wide range of benefits as well. Yeah, yeah. We have uh, full health insurance, dental, vision, uh, a 401k, uh, paid overtime at least double your hourly rate, and if you're a full member, we'll replace an entire limb for free. Oh wow, so that your whole arm replaced, huh? Yeah, this was um, destroyed by a deadly parasite called the flesh many years ago. Oh, okay. This is about 10 years or so of hard work. Um, but this old baby still gets the job done. I was going to say, 10 years of hard work. You got your hand back, arm back, though. Yeah, well, this is around, like, say, version 8.0. I was going to say, how does, like, what's what's connecting it to you? Like, can you feel it if someone fist bumps you? Yes. Try it? Yeah. Ooh, that's power right there. Oh, yeah. But yes, there's a series of anomalous connections within it that bestow it with um, great energy. As a matter of fact, the good place that I'm at, this is a bit of a side effect. Uh -huh. Yeah. It's energy courses through my veins. Yeah. For lack of a better term. Is that with all the uh, clock cogworks people? Broken church people? This is, for the cogwork, this is just particularly powerful for me. Yeah. So there's some. Um, Let's just say as the leader, I have some access to some pretty um, experimental tech that's ah, okay. um, really allowing me to have a lot of enhanced mobility and strength. Yeah, that's impressive. Does everybody get a hand a hand like that when they join, or you got to work your way up as leadership? Not necessarily. I mean, you can get a hand if you join. Yeah. Um, typically, people start off with simply replacing the internals of it as opposed to external. Yeah. I guess, I guess it's kind of personal what people have ch changed, but some people I can see their augmentation, other people it's a little bit less obvious. For instance, I not only have this, but I've also replaced um, my ACL in my left leg um, with metal. Yeah? And a spring system. An old um, sports injury catching up to me. Oh yeah? Keeps you, keeps you mobile. Keeps me regular. Do you think that you'll like replace more of your body as time goes on? Perhaps. Um, I have been looking into perhaps replacing my lungs with larger air sacs. Yeah. For, for greater lung capacity. Do, do members often have the idea that someday they'll entirely be replaced? Uh, <laughs> Wilcott, as a matter of fact, to get a to speak with them at the time work. Uh, she is particularly um, keen on replacing her entire body with metal and has done immense work with I mean, her vocal cords are even in the place with a voice box. Oh, wow. So if you get the chance to speak with her. You know, Who is that again? Will D. Wilcox. Dill Wilcox. She oh, will be in a hat along with some sunglasses and a very visible mouth guard. I was going to say, I think I heard her on the way in. So thank you for chatting. Of course. I was glad I could capture that moment. What's your name, friend? Eric. Eric. For Site 42. Nice to meet you. Oh. A foundation member. Yeah. We're running around here. You know, I do have some history with the foundation, but yeah, I trust that you are not the people I have issues with. Probably not. Just kind of a grunt on the field. Boots on the ground, you know. Glad to meet you. I'm glad to meet you. Thank you for listening. Site42 Studios and its staff are funded by viewers like you. Please become a patron or visit our merch store at the link in our bio to support our work. Secure. Contain. Protect.